Today I'm going to show you how to shorten curtains with a sewing machine. I love the look and feel of these IKEA curtains but they're far too long for my windows so I'm going to have to shorten them. The first thing you need to do is to hang your curtains up on the curtain pole and then turn them under at the bottom and pin them exactly where you'd like them to fall to on, on the floor. Then take your curtains off the pole and put them onto the floor or a table and measure from where you pinned to the bottom of the curtain. Make a note of the measurement. Mine is uh, 19 inches. And then with your tailor's chalk or your disappearing ink pen, make a mark at 19 inches or whatever it is for you. Continue to make a mark all the way across uh, the entire curtain. And then join up your marks with a ruler to make a straight edge. Then fold up the bottom edge of your curtain to the line that you just drew and pin that along the line. And um, the reason why we're not going to cut just yet and why we're pinning this up instead is that we want to be absolutely certain that these curtains are the right length before we cut. So um, pin it, then iron the edge, iron the bottom edge and hang the curtains up again from your rod and check to see if they're perfect. You, know, you might need to make adjustments, that's perfectly fine. I had to do it. The bottom edge of my IKEA curtains wasn't straight. So I needed to make uh, little adjustments along the way. So then once you're completely certain that um, the curtains are the right length, then you can take them down from the curtain pole and we're going to make our, a mark for our seam allowance next. Then measure up from the bottom of your curtain um, two inches and mark again with your tailor's chalk or your pen. And that's going to be your cut in line. Once you've made the cut, you can remove all the pins and then um, you're ready to turn up the seam. To turn up the hem, we're just going to do a double fold. So um, you can do this with the iron. iron. It's, it's, it'll be a little bit easier if you do that. So you'll just turn up the material one inch and iron that first of all, and then turn it up again and iron it again. And that's your hem. Pin along this hem. Um, you'll notice that I'm not pinning right on the edge of the, um, the hem because I'm going to put this in the sewing machine. I don't want the pins to get caught in the sewing machine. I'd, be, I'd like to be able to take them out as I'm going along. Bear in mind this is a beginner tutorial so I'm going to be um, going a little bit slower here so you can see what I'm doing. At the corner where the two hems meet we're going to reinforce this corner here. So put your fabric with the hem underneath the sewing foot. Slowly put the needle in with a manual hand turner and we're going to sew a little box in this little square. So I'll show you a photograph in a minute of what I mean and we're just going to sew each edge in a little square until we're back to where we started before we start sewing the long seam. One thing I should mention, you've probably seen it already from what I'm doing, but always have your needle down into inside the fabric before you lift the foot and turn the fabric around. This is how that little square looks once you're finished. So once you've sewn your little square and you're back to the start, all you need to do now is sew as close to the edge as you can, all the way down that hem until you get to the bottom of the curtain. Then you make your little box again and then you're finished. Then all you need to do is do exactly the same with the second curtain and there you have your curtains. And in a minute, I'll show you how my curtains look in my new workspace. 
If you haven't already put up your curtain rods, I recommend you read my post on how to hang the curtains properly before you start. It will help you decide how long your curtains should be and prevent you from making some very common curtain hanging mistakes. Just go on over to the blog chalkingsuccess.com. Um, I leave a link in the comments below to the post and or you can just go to the blog and type into the search bar curtains and the post should come up then straight away. Now you have shortened your curtains with a sewing machine and it was so easy, wasn't it? So for me, I've worked hard and now I'm going to get a nice cuppa and go out onto the balcony and enjoy the sunshine and the birds. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up, it really helps me and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me. I'll see you next time. Bye.